السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, إن شاء الله تعالى we'll go through verses 9 to 11 from سورة الملك سورة الملك سورة تبارك سورة number 67 verses number 9 to 11 إن شاء الله so I'll recite and recite after me if you have the Mus'haf open إن شاء الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسحقا لأصحاب السعير قالوا بلى قد قد جاءنا تدلوث خلقلا Then four to five counts. قد جاء أنا نذير فكذبنا نذير تنوين أفتر تفائز إخفاء فكذب ذباء وسكون قال قال فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إخفاء then if you want to continue من شيء إن أنتم another إخفاء إلا في ضلال كبير إخفاء تنوين أفترد كاف وقالوا لو كنا نون الشدة تيكس تو كونس نسمع أو نعقل ما كنا نون الشدة في فور فايف كونس أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا فاعترفوا بذنبهم The small meme makes it a meme sound with two counts. بذنبهم فسحقا لأصحاب السعير فسحقا لأصحاب تنوين after the clam there's no غنة but there's no noon sound فسحقا لأصحاب السعير uh, The transition of uh, the ayat They will say yes a warner had came or had come to us But we denied and said, Allah has not sent down anything. You are not but in great error. And they would say, if only we had been listening or reasoning, we would not be among the companions of the blaze. And they will admit their sin. So it is alienation for the companions of the blaze. This ayah after uh, the verses that talked about the people of the, the, um, the people of the Hawfire continuing, The mention of the people of the Hawfire, the disbelievers, those who disbelieved in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, they will be among the people of the Hawfire, Jahannam. And uh, the previous verses talked about some specific punishments that they would receive as a result of their disbelief and arrogance turning away from the truth. Then uh, they would say, قَالُوا بَلَا قَدْ جَاءَنَا النذي. That means in the previous ayah, When every group of, of the disbelievers, they are admitted to the hellfire, the keepers of the hellfire would say to them, Alam yatikum nadir, 
wasn't a, a nadir, a warner came to you, as we said before, you have someone that warns you and you don't take the warnings, especially that he is someone that is trustworthy, then if what he warned you of happens to you or comes to you, then you are the ones to be blamed. But if someone or no one warned you, then you have an excuse. So it would be said to the people of the Hawfire, have a, a warner came to you. So this is then the ayah says, قَالُوا بَلَا قَدْ جَاءَنَا نَذِيرٌ They said, yes, a warner came to us. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not punish anyone if there's no messenger has been sent. وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا He's the most just. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we won't punish till a messenger is being sent. Uh, and this is also mentioned in Surah Al-Zumar. When they come uh, by the hellfire, the disbelievers, and the keepers of the hellfire, uh, when the disbelievers are being admitted to the hellfire, the keepers of the hellfire from the angels, they would say to them, أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ رُسُلٌ مِّنْكُمْ يَتْلُونَ عَلَيْكُمْ آيَاتِ رَبِّكُمْ وَيُنْذِرُونَكُمْ لِقَاءَ يَوْمِكُمْ هَذَا They would say to them, didn't messengers from among yourselves recited upon you the ayat of your Lord, the signs of your Lord, and they warned you uh, the, this day, they would say yes. So they end up uh, blaming themselves. So they would blame themselves because they did not take these warnings. They did not uh, benefit from it. Uh, they continued in their disbelief and following their desires. So um, that's why it says, in antum illa fi kabir, indeed that you are in nothing but a great deviation. You know, and it seems like it's continuation of the statement of the keepers of the hellfire. Imam al-Sa'di rahimahullah, he said uh, that w- in their answer, they had in their uh, in it what they denied of the truth in specific and in general. You know, and uh, and they, uh, so it's قَالُوا بَلَا قَدَ جَاءَنَا نَذِيرٌ فَكَذَّبِنَا So the ayah says, they said, yes, Warner came to us, meaning messengers, and we denied the truth. And we said, and we said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not bring anything down from revelation. They denied, disbelieved in the revelation. In antum illa fi dalalin kabir, indeed you are nothing but in clear or great deviation. All of that is based on the opinion that this is what they said to their messengers. They uh, responded to their messengers by saying, when the messengers came and warned them against the hellfire and called them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, so the disbelievers, they denied the truth and they said to their messengers, nothing had brought, been brought down from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are nothing but in clear or great uh, deviation. So uh, that means these disbelievers, they had two uh, ways of disbelief, specific and in general. You know, in anything that Allah revealed, and uh, they claim, declared the deviation of the messengers of Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent, in which they are the most guided among the human beings. So how can they claim such a thing? And some said that uh, in antum illa fi dalalin kabir, that it's this, this is the statement of the keeper of the hellfire. The, keeper of, the keepers of the hellfire would say to these disbelievers when uh, they would say, indeed, uh, the warners came to us and we denied the truth and we said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not reveal anything, then the keepers of the hafir would say to them, indeed you are in clear or great deviation. So these are two opinions. And uh, Imam Sa'di rahimahullah, he mentioned the opinion that this is the statements of the disbelievers in this world, that they would claim that the messengers of Allah are in clear deviation. And then uh, they say, وَقَالُوا لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ مَا كُنَّا فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّحِيرِ They say, لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ This is their, their regret and their sorrow that they are in in the Day of Judgment that is not going to benefit them. They said, if we were, uh, if we were hearing or having reason, العقل, we would not have been from the people of the Hawfayr. That means if we had عقول, if we had reason and intellect that would benefit us, if we listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought down from the truth, listening in a way that would affect us, we would not have been then among the disbelievers, we won't be then from the people of the hellfire. 
great regret, subhanAllah, when you reflect upon these verses. And it shows also that والعقل, the real uh, listening, uh, the real aql and reason is what the believers are upon. The believers in this world are the wise among the people on the face of earth, are the people of intellect. The people of intellect, those who would act now based on what's going to come ahead. Otherwise, they as if they lost their mind. When someone lives their life to follow their desires, knowing that they will enter the hellfire, and they continue after the warnings came to them and they don't take these warnings seriously, they are either they are insane or because of the arrogance and the stubbornness makes the person blind, makes them act like they, they as if they lost their mind. So, uh, so they said, acknowledging that they did not be fit to be guided. لو كنا نسمع ونعقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير. So they uh, negated from their own selves uh, that the, the the paths of guidance, which is what a sama. These are the paths of guidance that they mentioned to listen to what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala brought down. That's why when you when you invite someone to the Deen of Al Islam, uh, your objective is to make them listen, to listen to the Quran, to listen to the uh, revelation from Allah, to listen to the words of guidance. And what the messengers of Allah came with. So this is one path of guidance is to listen. And al-aql. Al-aql is to use one's uh, intellect and reason. You know, it's the, this is the, what makes the human beings human beings. It not, it's not just the flesh and skin. Animals, they have the same thing. It's not the desires that we have. Animals have the same thing. What makes the human beings responsible for their actions is, a, is the fact that they have aql. And the aql is what makes a person think and to see what's going to come ahead and, and things like this. An aql that would make the person see things in its real way and form. And to choose what is good over what is evil, even if you desire what is evil. And to stay away from everything that is or anything that is being condemned and, and bad and so on. So uh, that's why these people, there is no uh, hearing or listening that they have and there's no aql for them. That's opposite to the people of al-yaqeen, the people of certainty and the people of the proper knowledge and the people of truthfulness. You know, when they believed in the unseen and they listened to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the Prophet والسلام, and they used their intellect and reason to see and to differentiate between guidance and deviation and what's good and what's evil. Uh, and they are with al-iman, with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them to submit themselves uh, with their own reason and intellect based on the revelation from Allah. So as Imam Sa'di rahimahullah says, for Subhan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glory be to him, the one that he bestows his favor upon whoever he wills from his people, from his creation. It's all by the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the regret. فَاعْتَرَفُوا بِذَنْبِهِمْ فَسُحْقًا لِأَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ They acknowledged they confessed with their sins, with regards to their sins. Uh, perished be the people of the fire. Right? So, um, that um, as the Prophet Imam Kathir mentioned this in the hadith of uh, in Muslim Ahmad, that the Prophet said, that the people would not be perished and destroyed till they. Uh, don't have any any excuse from their own selves. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't punish anyone unless they really, there is no excuse from them. There's no arguments that they would come and that they have judgment say, but we didn't know, we uh, did not understand, we this and that. You know, these are can be valid excuses from some, but those who will be punished, they have no excuse whatsoever. That means the truth has been presented to them and they turned away from it. Uh, and that's uh, also there's a narration there's no one will enter the fire unless he knows that the fire has uh, more is more appropriate for him than Jannah that he deserves the fire more than he uh, than he deserves he does not deserve Jannah he deserves the the hellfire. And that's why the disbelievers in the Day of Judgment, they would curse themselves. They would see the, the perfect justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they would only uh, curse themselves.
Why? Because they would see the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most just. Imam Sadi rahimahullah, he said about those who basically talk, the verse talking about those who be admitted into the hellfire, those who acknowledge their wrongdoing and their stubbornness, فَاعْتَرَفُوا بِذَنْبِهِمْ فَسُحْقًا لِأَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ They acknowledged their sin, فَسُحْقًا uh, Be perished than these people, the owner of السَّعِيرِ Or those who were upon uh, the hellfire. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the hellfire and uh, to see that how subhanAllah the regret uh, only benefits the person in this life. It's good to regret in this life. It's good to regret the sins or disbelief or evil actions. This is a good thing to regret so that the person repents to Allah. This is the time where a person can repent, a person can elevate himself into the highest levels, and a person can enter the Jannah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But once a person dies, then it is the most regretful thing that the people are not able to come back to this world anymore. Which shows this great ni'mah, the great favor of Allah that we are still on the face of earth, that we're still alive. Not that the favor of Allah that we're still alive so that we can enjoy more of this life and uh, you know fulfill our desires in this life. This is not the, the greatest favor of Allah that he bestow upon someone when they're still alive. Life, the most favorite thing that a person would receive because they're alive is to be able to wipe all of their sins and their disbelief and, and their evil actions by repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely and by gaining as much as they can with the great deeds and the rewards from Allah. So that when the moment of death comes and afterwards, there's no regret. No regret whatsoever because they would receive the great rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us this reality and keep us steadfast upon the deen of Allah. When we look at the words of the ayat, قَالُوا بَلَى They said بَلَى And بَلَى is the answer when a question is in a negating form. Uh, so that's the yes. قَدْ indeed جَاءَنَا came to us جَاءَ And the noon alif at the, at the end for the plural for the second person came to us نَذِير And a نَذِير is the warner from noon ذَلْ ra, And a نَذِر is to obligate something upon you like the نَذِر a vow. But a نَذِير is the warner. And uh, and 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 Nadir has some some things to fear, right? When someone is coming with 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 good news, you don't call him a Nadir. You call him someone that comes with uh, with tahweef or something to fear, and as if maybe the Nadir also has a warning to it. If you don't fulfill the vow, that means you subject yourself uh, to the punishment of Allah. Uh, so and this is uh, like the the nuzur فكيف كان عذابي ونذر the warnings uh, from Allah subhanahu wa taala. This is the the job of the messengers. فكذبنا so we denied ف then كذب from from lying and the noon alif talking about the, themselves. وقلنا and we said ما نزل الله من شيء نزل نزل ما نزل الله من شيء from in من شيء anything. They denied all of the revelation from Allah. Everything, present and past and everything. In antum, and that's basically if someone disbelieves in one of the revelations of Allah, he disbelieved in all of the revelations from Allah. It's amazing how people they can justify that for themselves. You know what what makes you know what makes people, for example, what makes the the Jews, for example, they believe in Musa Sam, but they don't believe in Isa Sam. What the criteria that they used? to believe in Musa السلام, and then they disbelieved in Isa and Muhammad وسلم, the same criteria that they used to believe in Musa السلام, they should use in, in believing all of the messengers of Allah the same thing with the Christians what make them believe in Isa السلام, or Musa السلام. of course we're putting aside the fact that they associate partners with Allah you know so it's uh, believing in, in the messengers of Allah and to uh, be upon uh, the, the, the truth you know, it's uh, this is the ways of the believers. So in antum illa fi dalal kabir, you have dalal uh, kabir. The dalal is from dad lam lam, which is deviation to be away from the straight path. And uh, kabir means it's um, it's 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 great or you know major deviation, major evil and deviation.
وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعقل and they would say لو كنا if we were نسمع from سمع listen and نعقل uh, have reason from عقل ما كنا we would not be from في أصحاب السعير in uh, the, 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 the people of السعير or the people of the hellfire and السعير is one of the names of the hellfire one of the names of the hellfire from سعر something that was blazing uh, of the fire and so on Um, then the next verse, verse number 11, uh, Allah says, اعترفوا from عين رأفة عرفة is to know something. And then اعتراف is to confess. That means you acknowledge, you get to have the, you know, you know that you had committed something wrong and so on. فاعترفوا بذنبهم uh, their sins, their sin, they acknowledge their sins. فسحقا, سحقا is perished or be away. From seen قاف and a sahq is when you crush something, uh, you crush a medicine, you crush something like this to eat, to to uh, to to, uh, uh, to dissolve it, to drink it, and things like this. فسحق that means perish they are away they are لأصحاب uh, السعير to the owners, the companions of a sair, the owners of the blazing fire. Uh, so again, as we see the the benefits here. When it talks about the people of disbelief, um, they have arguments in the day of judgment, but it's not valid, and they would acknowledge their their evil and their disbelief, uh, and they see the effect of their disbelief in the day of judgment. We learned that the two passages to guidance is hearing and reasoning, and we should not block these two. We should listen to the truth and we should comprehend the truth. Otherwise, the people of the Hafayr, this is what they say. And uh, to acknowledge one's sins is only benefiting in this life by repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us, inshallah. Barakallahu feekum. We continue, inshallah ta'ala, tomorrow. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the Quran the spring of our hearts and the light of our hearts. And to guide us and to uh, make us among those, the people of the Jannah, and to protect us from the fire, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.